let's talk about course a little bit. What does course mean? Course means cross origin resource sharing. And what does that even mean? Now, look, over here I have this Flutter web app. Actually, this is a web app, Flutter web app. Now, in this web app, actually, I have used a lot of images. Now, as you see, these are the images. And these images, some of them are coming from Firebase, which means I have used Firebase as storage. The reason is Firebase could be pretty fast sometimes, okay? So that's why. Now, if you host your images on Firebase for Flutter app itself, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. You can access them smoothly. But if you have a Flutter web application, that's a different story. So once you have Flutter web application and you want to use the same web images or images for your web application, then you have to set up something called course origin resource management. And it sounds scary, but actually it's pretty simple if you know how to do it. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it. Anyway, the first thing you need to do, you need to come to project root folder. Okay, so this is my project. And of course, I'm inside the root folder. And over here, what I did, I first created a file. The file name is course.json. Make sure that you spell it correctly and you know that it has json, dot json. Okay, so make sure you go ahead and create in the root, okay? which means it stays outside of leave folder. And once you did that, all you need to do, you need to put this few lines of code, okay? The first one is telling you that who is going to access the images. Here, it means that anyone can access, but if you have a domain, for example, over here, if you have a domain, you can specify the domain over here, you get to go. And then it's just a get method, which means we are not going to do any read writing, just reading, reading the images path, that's all. And then here you have max age seconds. That means that every how long later your web application should request permission for the images. What does that mean? Like each time our web app shows an image or display an image from Firebase storage, actually it has to ask for permission to Firebase. Hey, I'm going to use this image on my application. Can I do that? Firebase say yes, go ahead and do that. Now, of course, Firebase says that if you set up this thing and over here, it tells you that every how many minutes later or seconds later over here, you are going to do it. So over here, I said every one hour later, which is 3600 seconds, go ahead and check with Firebase. OK, of course, you can set it up to higher values. So all you have to do all these things. OK, and once you are done with that, now we have to set up a special command. All right. So over here, you can do it from your terminal or from the root of your project. So remember, I'm in the root of the project. Now over here, you need to write a special command. So here we see a command that's called gsutil course set course.json. Now this is the file that's over here referring. And this first three words are the command. And then over here, gs, and after that you have a bunch of URL. What does that mean? Now, this means your storage, the bucket. Remember, we are storing our images in Firebase storage. Actually, that storage is called a bucket. So this is the bucket address. And how to get that? Now, let me show you how to get this bucket or storage address. Now, this is my Firebase project. Now, here I have this storage. And once you go to the storage, actually, you can, all you do, you can copy this line, okay? Or you don't have to even copy it. All you need to do, you need to select right after storage. So if you have a Firebase storage or bucket, it will have this storage keyword. And after that, you want to copy up to .com, okay? So that would be your Firebase storage or bucket name. You need to get that name and put it right after JS colon and double slash, and you are good to go. And you need to hit enter, then you'd be good. Now I have already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. So that's how you go ahead and set up your Firebase course.json file for Flutter web app application. But if it's not just Flutter web app, it is any web app. If you have a web app that applies or uses Firebase images, then you have to set this up. Anyway, so if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Thank you.